and that's the big number. It's been almost 24 hours and you can see behind me that it's still burning. Right now, crews are dumping water on the scene, not to put the fire out, but to actually keep it burning. They're doing that on purpose. So here's what's happening. The reasoning is pretty simple. Hazmat crews want to stay in control of the fire and heat up the tank so that any residual propane turns into vapor. If they just let it go and for some reason the flame goes inside the tank, that's when you get into a really dangerous situation because that's when an explosion is going to happen. Crews estimate that there were 24 2,400 gallons of propane in the tank when it crashed. Listen to these numbers, though. Just the gallons before it turns into vapor, you have to you have to times that by about 1,700. So you can imagine how much vapor that is. That's why it's been burning for 24 hours. They do expect it the f the flames to go out relatively quickly in about another hour or so. When the daylight comes out, that's what they're hoping right now. Because of course they've been saying that for the past 24 hours that the flames are going to go out. The good news is, though, that all the evacuations are done. Are done. People have been back inside their houses since about 10:30 last night. We'll continue to update this situation for you. Live in York, I'm Becca Hendrickson. Back to you.